It says, hi guys, quick question for you. If a client has an RSS feed that only posts a small description and that's it, and it wasn't WordPress, would you get them to ask their webmaster to make it full post uh, feed, or have you ever created your own unique RSS feed? There are softwares out there that create RSS feeds. Is it possible to create an RSS feed from another URL and put it on my own domain or subdomain, put a robot.txt file in it, and no index it as well and use that for the blog syndication. Thanks. Mark, I have run into that problem, um, but I've always gone directly to the developer of the whoever's you know managing the site and ask them to, to change the feed. And in fact, I've met res, met with resistance on that a couple times where the developers, the you know, the the web developers have said like why would you want to do a full text feed? That that can cause duplicate content issues. And I've had to argue with them and say just just do it, you know, like, like just you just stick to building web, web, websites, and I'll stick to doing SEO, okay, <laughs> you know. But um, seriously, I've, I've I've had that happen on a couple occasions now, and I've gone, I've just had them um, code the out, change the RSS feed output to to where it makes it full text. Um, I don't know about the other option that you mentioned. Um, is that something that you've done before, either Chris or uh, Marco? Where you've created an RSS feed? Say that again. I'm sorry. Well, in his question, you know, I would I would go directly to the webmaster or the developer and say, hey, I need the RSS feed to output full t full text post instead of just summaries. Um, but he's saying there are softwares out there that also create RSS feeds. Is it possible to create an RSS feed from another URL and put it on my own domain or subdomain uh, to use that for blog syndication? Have you? Do you guys have e any experience? I with doing that? I have never done this. But yes, you can actually create an RSS feed from, from, from anything. Anything that has content can become an, R, uh, an RSS feed. And so this is absolutely plausible. I don't see why not, especially if you're doing... It's, it's a little underhanded, but yeah, absolutely. I mean, it looks good. Might try it myself. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, I the only thing that I, I, that I always tell people is, look, test it. The, the only thing that you can do is test and see what works and, and what doesn't and how Google reacts to it. Yeah. Well, I've done it in the past with like feed blending and like an own custom made WordPress plugins that had pretty much a spider behind it and just searched for a specific kind of content. But yeah, that's, I haven't done that for like a year or so, so no idea if you get a penalty or not right now. Yeah. I I mean, like I said, I, I've always just gone to the developer and said, look, this is what we need, make it happen, and then sometimes I've had to argue with them to convince them why why they should do it, but um, that's how I've always done it. Um, I haven't tested the other method, Mark, but yeah, I mean, just, just test it. If you have a way to do it on your own that doesn't require a lot of manual work, the, 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 the thing that I would see, uh, foresee as a potential problem would be if you had to go up and update the RSS feed manually, um, which would suck. You know what I'm saying? Like if you had to con uh, insert new items manually into the feed output of, like if you were using some sort of third-party RSS feed generator. But uh, if you get the developers to just create either, even, they could even create a second version of the feed. Like if their main feed has outputs a summary, you could have a second feed created that just uses a different slug, right? That would that would output the full text post feed, uh, you know, or the full text post, which then you could use for syndication. But that's typically how I do it because it requires the least. Remember, the more um, the more third-party stuff you start using, the 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 greater the chance of something breaking down. So, in my opinion, it's better to go straight to the source and get the the out the actual feed updated on the on the blog itself. Okay. Uh, 